The Twitter account was compromised and unauthorized tweet was posted. Bitcoin is that digital gold, life savings technology, something you can always count on. Whether Gary G's in office or at Bitcoin is, we're still in a major uptrend. We have not had the uh, 21 cross the nine yet. And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris and I'm going to bring you this lovely cryptocurrency video right here from Westlake Village, California. We're going to talk about some Bitcoin TA. We're going to talk about the good old Gary G uh, who said, guess what? The Twitter account was compromised and unauthorized tweet was posted and the SEC has not approved the listing and trading of spot Bitcoin exchange traded products. So, uh, interestingly enough, well, volatility certainly surrounded that little event there. You saw this giant um, bear candle right here on the 15-minute time frame, what was green, and then it was red. And what I think is important, uh, especially when emotions are high, FOMO is real, is think about, you know, what is your long-term goal? Bitcoin's going to survive whether they approve the ETF or not, right? Whether we get a little pullback or not. Bitcoin is that digital gold, life savings technology, something you can always count on. Whether Gary G's in office or, or whether um, Trump or Biden are in office, Bitcoin's going to do its thing and trudge the road to happy destiny up to about 180000 going into 2025. That's just my prediction. Don't quote me, though. Actually, you can quote me on that one. That one I'll take a quote from, but um, it's not financial advice, of course. Needless to say, uh, let's take a look at a shorter video, shorter time frame. Honestly, I still am looking for um, a bit more of a stretch higher here. You know, a quick bullish recovery right here, even on the 15 minute time frame, we're holding that purple 200. And the reason I got the fibs on here is you can see that. 48621 is the 618 FIB. Now that we've come so close to it, to say that we're not going to get there, I think is uh, just unreasonable. Even though that's a bear candle and, you know, any other day of the week, I'd probably say probably going to get some more downside off of that. It was the fake news media. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, somebody in Gary's office did the post. Needless to say, um, is very similar to the coin desk phenomenon where they said, oh, such and such happened and Bitcoin pumped and then it just kept pumping. So we could get one of those kind of reactions. But I think also what's important to keep in mind are the coins that are doing their own thing. They're just kind of grinding up and sideways and they're not demented by the rest of the market. And one of them that's a standout to me is this guy, which is coming down right now on the day uh, on the 15 minute, but DSO, which uh, has not reached its all time high yet, seems to have formed a, a nice cup here. So uh, this is a decentralized social platform um, has been, you know, gearing up for a big move. And we kind of pointed this one out uh, some time ago, but this is something to keep an eye on. It is available on Coinbase. Again, another standout. Yesterday I said my number one pick for the year is Neutron. Uh, it's part of the Cosmos system. It is kind of the base layer, or not the base layer. Don't quote me on the technicality of it, but essentially if you're going to want to use DeFi products on the Cosmos chain, you need Neutron to get in there. It's, it's, it's like your, your key to get into DeFi on Cosmos. It's still so new, such a low market cap that, um, I think there's plenty of room, you know, obviously it's making new highs yesterday. We said probably, probably decent buying opportunity, but, um, Neutron doing its own thing, despite the rest of the market, Bonk also, we said yesterday, was potentially breaking this trend line. And, um, well, it yeah, it did break the trend line. And uh, looks like the bonkers are going to town here, up 10% today. Again, a meme coin. Don't buy it for any type of investment purpose. Something to kind of get in, get out. 
um, as it's going to be violent and volatile. And then another standout that I saw today, oh yeah, was TIA, also known as Celestia. I'm going to do a deep dive video on like how it works and what it is, but too much to explain. And that is this one right here. So those are the type of the coins that I like to keep my eyes on when the market is being extremely volatile and they're just doing their own thing, right? Um, so back on to Bitcoin and Ethereum. And I think, a, a, again, an important, important point to look at Bitcoin is we're still in a major uptrend. We have not had the um, 21 cross the nine yet, which is the... Um, the cyan nine and the yellow 21 have not crossed down yet. So we're still, you know, technically bullish. Um, and we're holding the uptrend. We're holding the green 55 on the four hour. We are holding the 55 and on the hourly, we are holding the 200 still. So still bullish. And I would say even on the hourly time frame, any kind of a closure above or below this uh, indecision, long leg daddy candle, whatever you want to call it. I, I forgot the long legged doji, which is going to close in about 15 minutes. I'm going to try and wrap this up fairly quick here in the next five minutes. Um, but before we look at Ethereum, it's a good time to look at Ethereum Bitcoin popping its head up here on the hourly. That's a good sign. That's a sign for the bulls. Uh, oh, wow. Wow, I'm kind of bummed. I'm kind of bummed. Might have to start this video over. Um, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and take a position while I'm on camera here because I, I, I need to do it. And that was my plan is to stay long and strong with our ETH position here as, um, you know, it's likely going to recover at some point. And um, that's just what you got to do. That's what you got to do is hold some ETH in your bags. I think um, it's important to have a little bit there. Um, and with a nice, strong recovery there, I am adding a bit. Okay. So that... That settles that. And okay, back back into YouTube land. So Ethereum, Bitcoin, the ETH Bitcoin chart, that is bullish. That is what we talked about yesterday. We got a deviation below the range. That's your fake out manipulation right there. And I wouldn't be surprised to see ETH really start to take charge here at some point. If we do see, again, that higher high and higher low on the daily time frame. Let's see how it looks on the daily. So just a slight wick below there. And this is going to come in with some volume reversal type formation. If we close anywhere here or higher, um, I think that's going to do it for me when it comes to gathering some steam on the ether side. Um, what else do I want to bring to our attention? So that's, that's your... Pretty much your bull signal for ETH right there, dropping it in with a nice hammer candle, volatility maxed out. We will cross up today on the daily above, not 0.490. So closing here anywhere higher in the next two hours is gonna be good for Mr. Ethereum. Oh yeah, one other standout I wanted to bring to your attention is Mantle, which is kind of based all around the, um, I want to say the Ethereum ecosystem, but they have this uh, product called Meth Token. Uh, meth, where you can, it's mantled staked ETH. And uh, that, in fact, is going to be, I, I, I just saw their CEO do, did a huge interview. As a matter of fact, I'll post a link in the description below as I grab a little bit more ETH because um, it's just, it is just about to pop here. Just about to pop. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna save some of that, okay. Oh, should we get it? Should we get it? Or should we grab some more Neutron as Neutron's popping back up? 
Um, optimism and Arbitrum. Okay, there's the other two that are undervalued and going to do well as long as, um, and I'll go with the more undervalued. So Optimism is making new all-time highs. Arbitrum is making new all-time highs. About to put in a very similar candle from yesterday. Yeah, let's go ARB. No. All right, I'm going to have to do it off stream. Um, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like and smash the button below. If you want to learn how to trade Bitcoin 101, how to state, how to stack sats using technical analysis, start for free, 30 days, join there. Links in the description below, and I will leave you with that, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, last thing, Gary Gensler did put out a post, which does lead me to believe there could still be an approval tomorrow because of what he said. Some things to keep in mind if you're investing in crypto assets. Investments in crypto assets can be exceptionally risky and are often volatile. A number of platforms, crypto assets have become insolvent, blah, blah, blah. Investments in crypto have significant risk, right? So I just turned $140 into $1,300 over the last two weeks. Yes, it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency. My name is Chris Mitchell. I am the CEO of Crypt Courses. And I'm bringing you this video because I'm going to give you some really good information on how to buy, sell, and trade digital currency. Now, you've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto, but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. It's the crypto trader's dream to starting your crypto journey. It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. Anytime before there's a major like announcement from the SEC, they usually put out some kind of a messaging like this ahead. And um, I didn't even show you the mantle token. Let, let's, but that's what they typically do is look at that. Look at that mantle. That's looking like continuation to me. Crossing up above 60 cents. I do like that one for some continuation to the upside. Um, let's see. I think we can wrap up. The Casper trade is still active um, from yesterday. And um, yep. I hope you have a blessed and highly favored rest of your day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.